Hitting in here along with Drakir. And welcome back to the <laughs> eighth episode of uh, Blood Omen 2, The Legacy of Cain. Apparently, that's the order in which you're supposed to tell uh, <laughs> say those. So, yeah. Now, the original was Blood Omen, The Legacy of Cain, I think. Or at least that's how the games are noted in, uh, well, <clears throat> on YouTube when you select a game uh, for that. Uh, uh, Twitch has it the other way around it, which legacy, where it's Legacy of Cain, Blood Omen 2, but... Eh. Uh, potato, potato. Guess how long you want to say the name. <laughs> yeah, Blood Omen 2 is just uh, the shortest way. But, enough semantics. Let's continue. Yep. And... Oh, right, you had that damn velvet. Yeah, he really just looks like a Legacy of Cain, not, not a Le Prince of Persia character. Okay. <laughs> the, the, they'll just do entirely nothing. Um, don't like the outfit. The one thing I do not like about it is that woman shoulder pad. Oh, oh, you mean... For a moment I thought you were talking about the woman's outfit there. No, 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 I mean yours. Let's see. But no, I mean, I mean, Kane, not you. You, your clothes are fine, Helian. Your clothes are fine. I mean, they're Kane's clothes. Uh, yeah, I was sort of expecting that. <laughs> okay, never heard him scream like that. Okay, then how are we supposed to get around here then? Oh, actually, oh, I just saw it. Uh, oh, damn it. Let's realize, I forgot to do it. I'm to make a guilt for you today, but I forgot to do it. And that is? I want to do a stick impression. Uh, well, it's fine. Yeah, speaking of snakes <laughs> and art worlds, I wouldn't be against streaming. Oddworld New and Tasty. I've played it before, and I've finished it. Um, <clears throat> I, uh, I played... Uh, I played... Uh, Odd, yeah, Oddworld Apes Exodus at some point. Uh, but I never finished it on my own. Uh, hello. So... Yeah, I am curious how, what Soulstorm does, but I don't think I'm curious enough to buy it from the Epic Games Store. Uh, we've we've talked about it before. I I like that they are willing to pay the developers more of the cuts. That's uh, for people who don't know. When you buy a game on Steam, like a certain percentage of the uh, <clears throat> of that goes to Steam themselves, and the other part goes to the developers. I forget how much, actually, but what is known is that Epic gives a larger cut. But I do not disagree. I do not agree at all with their fetish for ex gaming exclusives. Uh, they're just trying to start the console wars on the PC, and yeah, I say a hard no to that. Yeah, and then they, um, they're also having known for bad, I mean, very bad customer service. And possibly close by to uh, Tencent, I think it was called. Or... Uh, yeah, Tencent has a good amount of control over them through stocks. And another thing is that the uh, game store still doesn't have a shopping cart feature, to my knowledge, as of the bright moment of this. And. Yeah. Yeah, if they brought out a system at a similar quality to Steam's, like uh, maybe not trading cards and such, but at least having a freaking shopping cart in your store, yeah, then I, I sure. probably would have been more generous towards them. But as things are, I do not trust them to be even competent with their store. But that's another thing. They, they've, they've had a lot of problems with, uh, yeah, with the store. Like 
errors, not showing up games that have hadn't been bought and such. Security. Just, yeah. Again, giving developers a bigger cut of the money, that is always good, because that way people who actually work on the game get paid. And hello. But yeah, if you're not or... even willing to pay your own people enough to make something freaking functional... Yeah, and in the end, you're trying to get to get off for... Sure, you can get cut. Probably, you may not get as big a cut as you think, or not many want to deal with in the game. Yeah. Can we actually... <laughs> we can get blood... Okay. Just, uh... Squeeze a stone hard enough to get blood out of it, I guess. <laughs> which is a saying, uh, which it, oh. that's a direct translation of a Dutch saying of a bit. Oh, I forgot. Oh. Uh, I forgot. Time. Yeah, the one time you forget to tell me switch it to only one processor, we both forget. Yeah. At least it wasn't a lot that we lost there. Yeah. And I wasn't to say... Yeah, Wait, the, has this... Was the, okay, it what? has been recording. For a moment I thought that just, I'd be streaming a blank screen. Oh, okay, that would be way more awkward. Yeah. Uh, I was to say, oh right, I was to say, what is the point to give them a better... Get the beer cut? We will be be lose out anyway because no one wanna buy them from the company. Yeah. And there was a situation that... So the people that made the game called Rune, that have many fans and they fans were excited. Then suddenly it game said, you know what, we give we're gonna give you extra money to develop it and all that. And <laughs> it... Just, hmm? just uh, sorry, I forgot to share it there, but we're getting a lot of things now. But yeah. Kane just fell through a crack in the floor. But yeah, I know that story. It's been told. It's been repeated a few times with different games. And uh, basically what Trickier was talking about was um, was the ep was Epic coming in to offer a developer money to com uh, to complete the development of a game or at least uh, yeah, contribute to it in exchange for making it Epic Store com exclusive. Even if before it had been promised that it go on Steam, it Switch, everything else. And yeah, if you're going to break promises over money for that, then you can expect people to be pissed off at both factions. Oh, no, 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 no. It, it went way worse than that. Okay. They finished it, they released it broken, and abandoned it. Okay, yeah, that's of I believe another developer did something similar, like, um, I'm actually forgetting the name. Uh, not yeah. the Temtems, but a different game in from Indie or something. Yeah, I mean, I mean like, they offered them way too much money, money, and they probably realized, what the hell is all this money? I mean, probably not like any money from uh, anything at all. So why you have bought up the yeah, because why would they work on <laughs> making the game better if they can just take that money and run? Yeah, but they, you, <coughs> yeah, but again, I also been funny if they also knew that the writing was all that they realized they have uh, signed a deal with the pair of idiots. So mm. yeah, better run than <coughs> spend time wasting time because of something that won't sell well to begin with. <laughs> what the? Hmm? Yeah. This could be a weird again. It took me, me away from the game and put me on your icon instead. I, 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 I'm back now. Okay. And to not kick myself and <coughs> run into the same stone twice now, that was me changing the task manager affinity of... so that it is running on only one <laughs> processor at the moment. Uh, all right. But yeah, overall, uh, if it again, if the Epic Game Store just offered games on a different platform, 
and, and didn't do the whole exclusivity thing. And actually gave the, the developers more money, then I would have supported it. But, yeah, since they don't, I'm not going to give them anything. Yeah, I agree. Well, they did actually manage to do something gave more money to the developers, which is good. So they did redo that. But, yeah, they are not the worthy competitor to Steam at all. Yeah. How they uh, handle things, as you said. Yeah, and because they are not worthy competitors, they, that is possibly also why they do the whole exclusivity deal, which is only going to drive people away f even more. It's like when uh, with YouTube, how much it keeps f jamming in more and more advertisements, which is only driving people to uh, towards ad blockers more and more. Yeah, I don't want to add too much to the thing. When you view it on PlayStation, many of the longer ads don't come up. You only get the, those like 12 seconds or 6 seconds ads. And most of them you can just take away usually. Yeah. And many of the most annoying ads mostly come up on PC, not enough. And I don't know, I don't know why it works like that. It's just the weird experience I have when I'm viewing ads on my PlayStation 4. Is I use it for YouTube? I uh, can't say. It might have something to do with slower download rate or something that it can't show the longer. Yeah, uh, ads because it would take too long to load in or something. Yeah, I'm sure them. That's the thing. I've seen two minutes ads up, and for some reason, he even wants for about to show me three long, three hour long music show for me to ease. Really? Come on! <laughs> at that point, you're just at that point, you're just begging people to put in an ad blocker. Yeah, I, I wasn't able to click away, but I let it play for a bit. I was in such belief that it was up there. I'm wondering why is that a bug? Yeah. I it was a bug that it actually it actually triggered the live show to go on to ad. Another yep. time, I had another three hour long ad to go get the campfire. Yeah, oh, come on. Yeah, that that's something that uh, advertising managers just don't seem to get. Is that the longer the ad, the longer you make the ads, the more you try to shove in, the more people are going to hate it. Then the more they're yeah. going to do to prevent having to see any at all. Yeah, and here's also one thing I noticed. When most ads come up, I usually don't see the gaming ads. Like, if you just keep trying game or stuff. I don't know uh, why. Oh, come on! Ooh. At least we had the checkpoints. But well, that was just <laughs> dumb. <laughs> I don't know why, I like how he's screaming when he falls down. Probably it's no, no, no. It's a better scream than when he opens a chest. Yeah. Or when he gains a level, you mean. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that's just a general... We basically, the more you, you try to shove something down people's throats, the more they will do to uh, avoid getting it shoved down their throats, which only leads to the people trying to shove it down their throats, doing, putting in even more effort, and it just goes in circles and circles and circles until someone figures out, like, hey, are we the assholes here? Yeah. Oh god, not no, hey. McDonald's commercial. It's a Swedish one, but they basically hear, oh, this is so good, so, so good that they obviously know they're on YouTube ad. They're saying that this, this is so good that there's no way that, it, that you would uh, click away after six, six seconds. 
and I ticked away on the six second left when they said that. Yeah, then, then you're just then you're just basically daring people. This, I doubt yeah. any uh, advertisement manager might actually ever see these videos, but if you if they're in the slightest chance is that one of them is watching it at one point now. Keep has to five seconds. Keep them just simple. That makes them that will keep them cheap as well, and people might actually bother to listen. Yeah. Oh God. There was an ad that actually said, "You know you hit the long commercial, so here's a short one for you." Yeah. Those are the people that actually figured out like, hey. Like, what's, what's the use spending millions on advertisements if no one's going to click on the advertisements? <laughs> yeah. The only advertisement that can get away with is probably the movies and gaming and like, the new game comes out. Uh, yeah, that, that's just, that's compl part of a PR uh, campaign as always. With that, it tends to be better, since then advertisements tend to be spread out more across different things, like uh, video ads, TV ads, maybe even radio or <coughs> something. Most gaming ads, like in a new game, comes out are not as in your face about it as the other ads are. Yeah. Okay, I, 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 I've been jumping around quite a bit now, but I, I hadn't actually figured out that you could jump to higher positions using this power. Yeah, I just, I just don't realize, what the heck is going on? <laughs> Yeah, up until now we've basically only been jumping to well, equal or lower planes. Yeah, I just missed the head of the heading. Yeah, I'm assuming there is oh there's a door there. Yeah I'm at here. I hope you will fall off. Yeah. It seems that they automatically move away if I try to grab them. I don't have a, you know, much of a throw in my hand. <laughs> yeah. So, perhaps Kane could go all scorpion on their ass and just pull it right off. Um, would that really be needed since they only only work for you? Okay. Just stay down, whatever the hell you are. Russia was a rain. Yeah. Uh, like, I, I'm guessing there's some sort of golem. And our favorite is back. Okay, this time I'm gonna need the music. No! <laughs> I think you did the circus before, and there we go. It looked like it wasn't aiming or reaching as far as before. What the? I do not like those doors. The way that those shifts up and open makes you worry the game is about to catch out. <laughs> oh, you found a funny, eh? Not me. Oh, hello. No, no, I'm at the side and off. Okay. Uh, oh, of course, he even spiders as well. Wait, what? Yeah, so for the... Uh, I think the best word would be patient. Uh, I haven't been hostile to us, they've been more scared and... Come on, even here are these things. Uh, 
And I'm guessing they can't see me in here. <laughs> oh, or they can. I think you will hurt you. Okay, deal with you quick. I think they hurt you drawing the sword. Oh, dodgy little bastards. Okay. Hold on. I do find it a bit odd that you only really get experience when you drain a body. Yeah, and... Um, uh, is there no, is there something different about that sword? I'm not seeing anything too different. But I don't know if it uh, has a different coloring or something to it. Mm. Maybe I just imagine it and... Could just be the, uh, the light in the room. Could be, yeah. Let's see. And again, Can climb this. Just uh, now, I have uh, a very clean screen, so I might not be used to, to see it very clean. Yeah. What? Biscuit. <laughs> Um, okay, <laughs> uh, let's leave Granny to her biscuits, or her desire for them, or something. <laughs> okay, either way we can just move along. Uh, we stick into the... Uh, yeah... Uh, can uh, keep uh, his axe. You mean I can get to keep it? Yeah. Where do we actually have to go here? I'm not seeing another lever. I can't find it. That the young, the young me loved swords all over all other weapons. But as I grew up older and older, the more I start to favor the hammer, the mace, the axe, the and the bow arms, and start to get bored of the sword. Yeah, swords are good weapons. Uh, but yeah, when basically every character in uh, media uses them, they start getting boring. Yeah, and also, in reality, the swords were more usually a side arm. I said, you got to put me your back off that thing. Okay. So, Romans had this main weapon, so, well, most of the enemies didn't have much armor to begin with. It was not a problem. But once more enemies have armor, yeah, then they want to go with this thing or do something else. Yeah. Also, yeah, that was totally to be expected, that it would <laughs> unleash the spiders as well. But, uh, yeah, with the patient stumbling around like that... Uh, yeah, I, look, I looked up the game on TV Tropes for a bit, and according to that, their eyes are stitched shut. God. I, I never liked seeing that. Hey. Yeah, you know me and I'm really Yeah, big as nope. But nope, then again, nope, that nope, that's nope. with <laughs> that's with most people, since uh, well, eyes are kind of essential. Yeah, it's kind of why I don't wear contact lenses. Yeah, yeah, I, that's also why I wear glasses. I I do not like the idea of anything touching my eyes, even if for medical reasons. Yeah. Like, I won't go under the top seat, I do kind of like that there's the lens and the gear and some stuff, but yeah, you won't get me to test it out. Yeah, and on the other hand, uh, <coughs> uh, I don't, uh, these aren't essential, f I'm tapping my glasses for the gear. Uh, these, I'm, my glasses aren't essential for me uh, to see, because 
they aren't too high of a prescription, like only minus two on the strongest of them. Um, so yeah, I, I also really have no real reason to get my eyes lasered or anything. Uh, I, I'm stuck with lots of four. Apparently my eyes have to get worse and worse over the years. Okay. So, I'm stuck with lots of because I am horribly close-sighted. Basically means I need to be very close to see something. Okay. Uh, I've heard that over time eyes can get your eyes can improve their sight somewhat, uh, but it's a case by case uh, case. <laughs> yeah. in, in my case, I think it's, it's genetic that uh, it's a common thing in my family. Apparently. Okay. Why can I not charm this one? Well, oh wait. Yeah, I think it was the same with the other one earlier. It's supposed to be with all of them. Hmm. Yeah, and does that mean that you can't possess any of them? Uh, let's check with another one. I think there's one in the last room here. Yeah, for actually. Oh dear. Because the. It, it is a theory. We might not be able to test them because they can't see to begin with. This basically makes it oh, useless to use them. Oh. I had the wrong power. <laughs> <laughs> I just fucking forced push the blind woman. <laughs> <laughs> that explains <laughs> it! <laughs> okay, that explains it. That's your problem, man. <laughs> okay. And what did I know? I should have noticed this earlier. But it was the wrong color. Yeah, the, the powers have the same color, it's just a, a different symbol. Let's see. Okay, just up and up and up in this place. Which is a very Prince of Persia design, I must note. I should go to the lake to see if I can find the soundtrack of one of them with the heavy metal. Yeah, the warrior within one. Yeah, I, I like the music. Like, you heard me play some music before. But the metal version? It's not every day you hear that, and it was done very good, at least uh, from what I remember. Uh, I think it actually had a bunch of licensed music as well, from Korn, I think, and others. Um, I Stand Alone is one that is uh, licensed, I think. But, uh, yeah, Prince of Persia is definitely on the to-do list for eventual streams. And speaking of, I still haven't been able to find that freaking note that I wrote. Uh, I what had a small paper note? Like mm. those you put on the wall? Yeah. Okay, here's the thing. You showed me a note yesterday, apparently, that I couldn't, I couldn't read through the pixelation. Yeah, it what was it was that size. I'm actually checking ar around here again. What did you actually show me that note without realizing it? Like uh, no, that, that was one I just written down for a joke there for the viewers. All right, uh, what was it? What was the note? That I could hear you uh, screwing around with the wrapper. <laughs> yeah, I want to see if I can torture you. You 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 spent so much time breaking me after all, so I might as well break you. <laughs> uh, people can take that so out of context. <laughs> oh. <laughs> break his mind, bro. Not the other way. <laughs> Is it just me or practically all of these inmates female? Yeah. 
I know we saw some male ones earlier in that cutscene, but are we in the... Yeah, the last dozen or so have been only in female. Like, are we in the female wing of the prison? Perhaps. Though I, back in the back in medieval times, they didn't really care enough to split people off uh, in different areas based on gender. <laughs> Yeah, not even in bar houses. The deep band bar housing sometimes they do too. Um, yeah, ancient uh, ancient civilization and uh, women naked with other men naked. You can put two and two together. What happened probably? Oh, in ancient ones it was just fine. This was in the medieval Christian ones. It became a problem with. That the church got upset with. Yeah. Upset because of Prudism or upset because of incidents? Is Prudism have even a word? Both. I think it's both because, it, yeah, you said it earlier what happened a lot in those houses. Okay, she's been playing that game for a long ass time. And I'm rather yeah. impressed that she kept count. <laughs> yeah, and you know, at the same time, I wonder. I don't know if this was a random thing or if that's a reference to something. Um, let's be honest, sometimes they add those things as a clue. Might be the two uh, horror games I've seen. Yeah, I doubt that's uh, a reference there. And where do we actually need to go here? Probably <laughs> that was probably just meant to me meant to say like she has been here for fucking centuries or longer. Oh wait, you meant she's been counting years? Yeah, based uh, oh. basically that uh, bottles of X on the wall. Uh, oh. Typically, that is a countdown game or song uh, over here. Uh, but I'm guessing she has been counting up with that. Let's see. Uh, also, uh, Cobus and Fire is in the chat. Uh, sorry for not saying you uh, were around earlier. And uh, they had a comment on the earlier thing. <laughs> Uh, it's a vicious throat shoving cycle. <laughs> yeah. Somebody <laughs> help me, please! Now, uh, on whether we were talking about uh, how, uh, yeah, advertisements and ad blockers just get cut in a vicious cycle. Yeah. Did she just walk straight? <laughs> she did. I want to see if it impales. Oh, come on. Okay, that was a bit of a cheap attack. <laughs> okay, they can also go invisible. <laughs> I feel so unused to see you die in single real games. It's it isn't wasn't too far back. Still a bit annoying. This means, in all the Soul Ring games he has been playing, he usually mainly died to the bosses and extremely rarely to a mob. Here, he speaks to bosses and mobs frequently. Yeah, because Kane, uh, Kane doesn't have Raziel's immortality. Or, well, his uh, respawn. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Maybe the respawn had a limit. Yeah, because if you died in the spirit realm, then you just get booted right back to the very start of the game, or the start location of the game. And, well, the only thing that would cost you then was a, a long ass backtrack. Yeah. Here, though, I guess the enemies are a bit more challenging to think. Yeah. Oh, oh, uh, you got a good look there. Yeah, the, those eyes are stitched shut. Yeah. Mm. 
Yeah, I noticed them earlier. You see the world coming on them. My reason for moment to forget. Uh, who are they supposed to stop? The wardens, I presume they're probably these people from uh, escaping. Though, well, they are hardly in any state to escape much of anything. What's the point of that invisible if he can see through your eyes? Intimidation, perhaps? Probably, and then. Yeah, but it can still be as creepy as all hell to just see a pair of floating eyes. And Plus, it lets them hide from sight, uh, which could, well, being hidden can be used for plenty of things. If I did, then it was an accident because I'm trying to focus on kicking these two guys' asses. Yeah, see, Though with how they float, it's a bit of a question if they have asses or not. Yeah, they said they're actually not like invisible. <laughs> okay, yeah. Still, that just. I'll just guess that the ward these wardens are also female, but just Yeah, that's enough bounce to have with these this game added to the jiggle physics page on TV tropes. Yeah, as I How you why do that? I don't think he, he just does that for drinking water. It doesn't matter. The, the rib teeth don't work like that. Yeah. And if they do, it's probably because they're about to explode. And then you're in the wrong uh, genre, because that's usually sci-fi. Um. Aliens, chest bursters. Yeah, I thought you meant that, but I thought you meant that. I mean, like a cold explosion. But that's also horrifying. Okay, <laughs> deal with this guy easy enough. Okay, that looks. Oh. Okay. No way you can screen for in this game. Yeah, I could make. I could make uh, print screens of what's happening, and actually, is is this? Let me try. No, no Steam overlay. Uh, yeah, this is this is yeah, this is running through uh, good old games, which also oh, has wow. a screenshots function, I think, but I don't know how to activate that. Yeah. Oh, uh, I think we're folks. I think it was yesterday, I noticed saw a video that was about two or three weeks old. The mention that the story you were doing has been temporarily removed from Steam. <laughs> and the said that they had to be back on the Okay, whatever that was with the river was violent at the very least. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you told me of that earlier, and with that happening basically sparked the idea or a theory that there is a Soul Reavers remake coming up soon. Yeah, for if, if they just plan to patch the game so you can play it better with controls and all, then why temporarily remove it from the store and not just patch it? Yeah. Removing it means there's something else going on. Or it it suggests that something else is going on. It, it, it doesn't always have to be something, because sometimes people are just being idiots, which has been proven on the internet plenty of times. Let's see, yeah. What did that actually do? There, there's another rumor I heard that I also forgot to learn about. 
one of the people that is rumored to make a new Blood Omen game, uh, rumored of the first one, is Blue Point. And they are apparently known for not filming a remake and remaster so far. Okay. Apparently they are damn good at it. So, if someone is to do a remake of the entire Soul game series, and you know, Legacy of King games, might be a good point. Okay, I can't say I've heard of them. I might have played one or two of their games without realizing. Uh, can you tell what games they've redone before then? Oh god, which one was it? Oh god, I hope I... I think this is one of the Dark Souls games they are helping with. Okay, uh, yeah, we just have to kick these guys' ass again. Uh, and there were some origins too, I forgot, uh, but I don't know what I reacted with uh, a bit of amazement. Well, I think well, those he did mention were remakes that I've heard have been very positive about. But yeah, we'll just have to wait and see then. There, the, the, <clears throat> the industry has been on a bit of a re remaster, remake binge lately. Even from games that I never thought would ever get a remake. So... Yeah, there, there's no way to guess. Like, one of the games that I never thought would get a remake was freaking Shadow Man. Uh, yeah, that is something that uh, people heard about as well, uh, which is, well, weird to say because it's less than, I, I think it's less than 10 years old, so to already make a remake of it. Because what you mean, what those just need to improve the controls and add something to it, but it's a remake. That means they not only go through the controls, but also the story. Which could be both good or problems. Problem is, I think that people love the original uh, story, but they hate the second game. And yeah. Was, yeah, they could talk about the issues that what are hell are they able to remake with on it? And it was already a good success. Uh, for some context for anyone who might never have known about the whole Last of Us 2 debacle. Uh, the short version is that, well, the, sto the story beats and that, what an even good wording, the, the, the story of the second game completely invalidates the first game. Like, uh, I... I haven't watched it myself, and I know of, of how the story in Last of Us 1 generally goes, so... Um, or would it go, but I don't know the details, so it would also be spoilers for me. But, uh, yeah, let's say that people were not happy at all at how the characters were treated in the sequel. And that yeah. what people felt was basically an OC being shoved down their throat. Yeah, as well, felt like it was forced political messages as well. Mm. And because people did not like the new main character because of her personality, they seem to blame fans for being transphobic. Yeah, and not for example the fact that at one point she tries to pregnant, she's trying to kill someone. Uh, they get told that the one they're trying to kill is pregnant, and their answer, good. You know, or, like. It's not that she has. It's not the fact that they're supposedly trans uh, or something. It's more the fact that they're a fucking psychopath, why people just absolutely hate her. Yeah, but the developers also is only a little transphobic. No, we hate her because she's, uh, she's a lunatic. There's nothing about trans people to do with this. Don't try to twist her and to make up the bad guy here. Yeah, the whole this thing I'd call like a Gamergate 1.5 or something because. Yeah, the developers and a bunch of journalists just circled the wagons in blaming, you know, or at least accusing gamers of being X and Y and such, without any actual evidence except for their own words. 
Yeah, the, the twist and turn is like, let's see. Here's the thing, I have a person that I know what I want, uh, not no longer see. He never played back and kept stealing over me, even when he's asked and I said no. One time I said, no, you're not allowed to attack that tool, that's the last one I left. And he called me racist. Uh, just for denying a pyramid. Yeah, they, there are just some people who will... You will <coughs> grab at anything to try and seem their victim. Yeah, and yeah, we, we did that a lot. And here's the thing. Karanaki is from Persia. And there's other Persians in this town and all other Persians hate him. Okay, let's see, can I... Go through how he behaves, so yeah. We, I'm not gonna go into detail about that, but let's say is... If you met him in real life, Helia, you would probably wanna punch him. Okay, it, it's been a forever since I've done that with anyone. Uh, yeah, let's say he was... He was horrible. Okay, I'm drawing a complete blank on where the hell am I supposed to go. Saying here, I just want to hit out of my leg. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop him. I don't want to think about him. <laughs> yeah. No, so, sometimes the best way to have revenge on someone is to outlive them, to just yeah. live a better life. Yeah, he caused enough problems. I want to think of something good. Now I want to see if I can help you here. For I have no longer pixelated the screen here for quite a good time now, so I might be able to see it has an extra eyes for you now. Let's yeah. See. Uh, Crowbras, do you know anything about where the hell am I supposed to go with this, since you've played this game before? Wait, what, what was the ma uh, asking mouse in the corner? Uh, what mouse? <laughs> yeah, I have <laughs> one idea of possibly <laughs> trying to jump on top of these things, but... Uh, uh, I most likely will just burn up in the water instead. Yeah, for me feel like that's a red herring? For sure! It will easily be good, but at the same time, knowing how old this thing is, you would probably expect that if you try, you just fall through them. Mm. It could just be the creation. I'm not seeing any ladders or anything. Maybe I have to activate this oh, no. again. Eh? Did I miss something earlier when we pulled that the first time? <laughs> because to me it looked like this thing just reassembled itself. What the? I, I am just as confused as you are. Was I'm, it that I'm guess. Well, this switch reversed time earlier by reconstructing the bridge from the water. So I'm guessing what it was supposed to suggest is that this box uh, smashed the bridge. Uh, we reverted time on that, also very Prince of Persia. Then we moved this thing and forwarded time again, but this time it smashed down here instead of on top of the bridge. That's what I'm guessing at least. Okay. Where's your point? Hmm. Let's see, how far through are we? 55%. Okay. Who the hell is this? And uh, why do they have a 
kettle on their back. They're, they're a vampire, that's for sure. Just... Did, did it really just go clang when he fell back? <laughs> okay, nice little detail. <laughs> yeah, it goes clang when he falls on his ass. Oh, also, for, for someone who has a boiler strapped to his back, he's fucking agile to just do a flip kick like that. Like, like there, just how the hell... Oh, S still not enough. Okay. I I'm not sure <laughs> what to think with this. On the one hand, he's horrifying as all hell, but on the other, uh, he's so silly. <laughs> okay, I get the feeling we're supposed to run from him. <laughs> Fourteen hundred ounces. Okay. <laughs> was it me, not God? Yeah, meat. <laughs> Wait. You start the vampire now? Like, you Oh, he has the ears of a vampire. It And, uh, yeah, Mr. 1400 Ounces just flushed himself, I'm guessing. <laughs> like, what the, <laughs> what the what? hell? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Uh, if I didn't already have a TV Tropes account, I'm going to make one just to add that as if in the funny section. <laughs> <laughs> I like the, 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 the other fuck. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> It's like with the introduction of this place, just the complete tonal dissonance and flip. <laughs> well, let's be honest. We should have seen this coming. It is an asylum after all. Yeah, but, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't have thought an asylum could be this funny. <laughs> and that's just. That's a sentence uh, you probably don't hear too often. <laughs> Actually, can I pick you up? Come on. Come here, you. Yep. Hi. Maybe it's because we are not on a completely level. Uh, nope, can't grab. <laughs> also, the voice acting on that character was... I was suspecting... <laughs> I thought they'd be like... <laughs> the voice acting was just a much higher quality there. And, uh... Yeah, from silly 1400 ounces of meat a day to, uh, well, probably more than 1,400 ounces on a hook. Yeah, wait. Of course that doesn't sound familiar, actually. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to keep giggling about that for the entire stream, aren't I? Probably. <laughs> Oh, more of the meditation? Uh oh. <laughs> he is again! 
What the? <laughs> oh no, he's not here for meditation. He's here for uh, massages. And for a moment, I honestly thought he was going to fucking uh, Kool Aid man his way through these bars here. Yeah. Just so fucking silly and hello. It would, no, not. No, wrong button. I was accidentally changing my keyboard's control setting to a different time. <laughs> to different languages. Like, yeah, if, if you press shift and alt, you'll, uh, you'll switch through what uh, settings your keyboard is set through. Oh, come on. So yeah, I'll have to switch that back uh, after after the stream because it can be really annoying when uh, the keys, well, the key if, when the symbol you get doesn't match up with the, the symbol you've pressed. Now, now my feet are no longer cold. Yeah, I don't want to get a headache during the stream. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, wait, hold on. Didn't he, he drown him? Hmm? Or uh, he drowned himself? Yeah, maybe there's multiple of them. Uh, then the question is, what does some come? Kind of vampire goo? We've had something like this before in the first boss fights, I think, or no, in the factory. Yep. What? Oh. Sorry, but I'm not going to waste this. <laughs> Void block. Okay. Were we supposed to be able? Oh, we were supposed to be able to use those uh, against the wardens. I'm guessing. Oh. More. <laughs> oh yeah, more of the meditation uh, <laughs> rooms. <laughs> um, I can't help <laughs> <laughs> Oh wait, <laughs> they're actually dead. <laughs> what? Wasn't this place supposed to keep these people alive for all of eternity? Unless they are still alive. For you saw the, the ones on who they are still alive. Yeah, the ones on the walls here. This means they were not hit on like as well. <laughs> uh. Well, he must be pretty freely crushed, feeling pretty crushed about that experience. How can you walk on that without falling through? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she has her foot. She had her foot completely on nothing there. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah, but a lot of these old games had their silly bits. Yeah. Cope wasn't fire. They just put that in the brochure to get tourists interested. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, come for the pro false promises. Stay for the eternal torture. I feel the one thing like he can become a salesman. He'd be the clearest salesman you've ever seen. Okay, he seems too busy with the ones that are strapped down. Uh, Okay, no switch next to the door this time. Hmm. Ah, there. 
hold on. And yeah, he's probably going to chase us after this, or actually, no, I, I so expected that to, <laughs> to open this gate. Yeah, bye bye. I noticed something odd with her running. Yeah, there is Lint. Uh, no, no. Uh, I think that with the sound effect, the shoes. Okay. I think there have. No, that, no, that was a false flag. I Earlier in the previous stream, I thought uh, a rat was making a different sound when it was running across a grate, but it wasn't. <laughs> Well, it sounds like he's wearing the shoes, the kind of shoes that would make that kind of sound back in the day. Like a, a wooden heel or something. Like, it's not just plain leather. Uh, yeah, he is again like the fucking Kool-Aid man. <laughs> uh, you motherfucker, stay away from that switch. Or... Oh. Is that the same one or different one? Is it? I am damn curious. If you survive the water, it means it's not a vampire. But... <laughs> Just a fucking... Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that turret can stay flush this time. <laughs> I'm gonna worry that the Gordian of this bit has altered the map. Uh, well, he kicked two of their asses, so yeah, they've obviously bitten off more than they can chew with some of their patients. Yeah, that's what they don't know what sanity is. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the wardens probably also count as insane when they ex describe torture as a peaceful meditation. But yeah, you know the whole saying of oh, uh, when you stare into the abyss, into the abyss too long, eventually the, the abyss will start to stare back into you. Yeah. Or it's similar to that, I, I just butchered it, but you get the point. Yeah. He who fights monsters. Yeah, they are not human. Okay, another level. Jane screaming into the heavens again. <laughs> okay, what have we here? It's another one of those time uh, devices. And okay, is this one pulled already, or is it broken? Oh no! Are oh, you too young? Is this a young imposter? I don't think it is that, but I am pretty sure that we need to jump across. Hmm. Inactive as well. Can I actually use these things? No. Hmm. Yeah, we'll be back here later, I'm pretty sure of that. Okay, can't reach any of these places. Because you know that you supposed to do something you can reach it, but it's totally even at the moment. Oh, I see. Ah. You do. Uh, what do oh. you do? Oh, <laughs> that restores the bridge. And now this switch is functional. I'm guessing it'll turn it around. Yep.
Okay then. Then we can go down each of these past parts one at a time. We'll just have to jump back and forth each time though. And hello there. Oh dear. Oh come a cheap motherfucker. Wait. Uh, I I was hitting them before when they were invisible like that, like like there. Okay, no more fury. Resort against those. Fury instead. That was just odd. Yeah. And we were basically saying the same thing there, with only uh, one word difference. <laughs> <laughs> and there's no... oh. What do you do? <laughs> okay, a bit specific for a switch. The sun is at least these, at least this isn't three whole hallways that we have to go through, because that get annoying fast. Yeah. Let's see. That door is closed, so we'll have to go to the other side first. I'm guessing. Yeah, I'm guessing that we need to fix the uh, time device uh, <coughs> to open the door, which I'm guessing this will do. Oh. Okay, what's with the oversized Millennium Puzzles? Um, I, I doubt that's the Pharaoh in there because they prefer card games over whatever uh, this one went through. I think that's my children. Prisoner, I require information. You, you are not a jailer. I beg you, release me. First, you must answer me. I seek a prisoner in this place, a builder. He created a large device that lies below the city of Meridian. <laughs> Seek no further. I am he. How fortunate. I intend to destroy this device. I was told only you can tell me how. I can indeed help you. But in return, I need an end to my suffering. Tell me of the device, and I will grant you any request within my power. Yes, yes, the device. The device was built as a weapon eons ago when two races warred with each other for dominance of Nazgoth. It houses an ancient creature whose very mind is capable of killing any living thing with but a thought. The device was to channel the mental energy of this creature and direct it onto Nazgoth. It would attune the creature's mind to kill all living creatures except for my race. Before it could be completed, however, I was imprisoned here, and the rest of my race was banished to another far more terrible realm. So this device was never finished, and yet the creature still lives within it. It was dubbed the Mass. It is eternal and deadly. Yet harmless without a channel for its mind. But we never completed the weapon. We needed a way to send its energy out of the device and into the land itself. We needed a conduit throughout the cities, a network, if you will. But once this network was created, the device would channel the mental energy of the mass and send death upon our enemies. You say a network? Placed like a web throughout a city. We never completed the network. We never used the device. 
but the Seraphan Lord will. The glyphs. He is using the glyphs to channel the mass, to wipe out the city, humans and vampires alike. That must be his plan. This is indeed true. You must act quickly. It would be too large a task to destroy the device itself. You must kill the mass itself. You said this creature was eternal. It has a simple weakness. Blood is like poison to its system. And not any blood, but pure blood from the elder races. My blood. My blood will poison and kill the creature. Drink from me, vampire, and use my life's blood to kill that which I created out of arrogance and pride. Kill me so that the mass will die and the device will be destroyed. You have suffered here an eternity, poor wretch. I will grant you release from your prison, and I will carry your blood in my veins. I will bring the Seraphan Lord's plans tumbling before him. So... <clears throat> oh, now that finally repairs itself for no apparent reason. <laughs> So the Seraphim Lord, Lord has basically been running the light bulbs on Cthulhu's daydreams. Uh, I doubt that. <clears throat> I wonder though, who captures people and brings them to the eternal prison? Yeah. You have not seen any of the circuit guardians so far. Yeah, so Maybe. this this is after the circle has been corrupted and such. You have ruined everything. Now these lives can never be redeemed. Our great experiment for nothing. For nothing. Yep. <laughs> Just as I want to move out between these two. Someone's great experiment. Like, there's a lot going on here that's not being explained. guessing that is on purpose because well when something is strange and, and it's not explained then it stays strange and well typically more scary as well Like, how would they have known that the beast was vulnerable to their blood? Yeah, that one as well. Like, how does they know this, the Hildred? Yeah, and... <coughs> okay, apparently my, the mute wasn't responding there for a moment, sorry for that. Uh, yeah, I can see uh, other reasons why this game is considered non-canon, because these are some things that are too big to really have been ignored in the other games. 
Yeah. Like, I doubt the Elder Gods would have tolerated uh, some other godlike being around. Yeah, that would be like a lot of culture entering your territory. Yeah, we, yeah, we, I think people know that uh, when you have territorial ammo, they get very territorial. Uh, why is the lighting? Oh, oh uh, hello no. again? What's that? Why? I'm guessing so. <laughs> Okay, just take your freaking bath and get cleaned up. Like, we've only seen one of these at a time, so I am actually thinking that this this that this is supposed to be one and the same asshole. <laughs> Uh, I, I thought the game was glitching out there, but no, yeah. that was on purpose. Yeah, that's, that's, it's either the same one or there's several. Or, uh, well, he is the statue, I guess we would have the same thing several times. Okay, now the game is a bit. Yeah, now it's leaning game. harder on the horror. Yeah, and sweeping. Uh, oh. Okay, what's not going to get? What can you just bring out time? Okay, what is going on here? And. Uh, Okay, there must be multiple of them because he could not have got recovered from that that fast. Yep. Wait. Or is it? And now I can't tell if there are multiple of him or not. Okay, uh, we got interrupted there. Oh, uh, that's what's going on. That's what that sound is. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of ignoring that sound. Okay, two pots. Okay, it is for game. Yeah. And another trap. Yeah, if someone was screaming like that uh, near oh hell, hell near you, uh, I'd have been very concerned. Kids, come down loud, just for you know. And drunk people, or dramatic people. But yeah, the more I hear it scream, the more I realize that's not a tiny girl. And we're out of whatever that was. <laughs> there was one other past we could have taken, but I don't think any of us want to go back there. Yeah. And what have we here? The big brothers. Uh, 
Well, if they're the big brothers of the Wardens, then they've all been dating Medusa. <laughs> Okay, this turd really needs a good flushing. <laughs> to Okay, yeah, I am dead. <laughs> it is just one and the same asshole. I will defy your what? Uh, okay, <laughs> he's using them very powerful magic. So many enemies, boss. Wait, Hold on. Okay, <laughs> that is a very powerful spell. Oh dear. Uh, I think I know this piece. Now, maybe you have a knife on the floor, but you're not having an entry. Oh, come on, I was. Oh dear. Okay, I think this one is called Stiff Arm. Is that how we deal with him? He's not taking any damage. And I only incinerate you. <laughs> okay, as he laughs, we can shove him. And oh, now he did take damage. And I only <laughs> okay, flame boy, just cool down. <laughs> Okay, the damage is a bit delayed. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a jivering idiot <laughs> laughing on top of the. Oh! Eh? Who? <laughs> what is not his friend? Like. Oh, the same. This guy is both hilarious and terrifying. <laughs> but I guess we have to chase after him in his uh, short shorts. Even Kane is like going, what the hell? <laughs> Uh, I don't think there has been one called Stefan or Stefan, any variant of that name. Sebastian and Marcus. Alright. Oh, yeah. And, and yeah, he's the last boss to be who will give us a power. I'm guessing because, well, that symbol in the upper right is another power symbol. I'm guessing. Oh no! This madness. Uh, I, I'm guessing it's more like Pyrokinesis because he, t he melted an entire damn statue. Cobras and fire got to go. We'll leave you up for view counts. Uh, we'll have to watch if you get to the end later on the YouTube. Yes, see you later, and yep. have a good day as well. Yep. Have a good day. So I think he is a bit bugged. Uh, 
Uh, we... Oh. Okay, the hell happened there? Uh, I can get one hit in on him, but then the others miss. He did. He did make an attack animation there. So what the hell happens? Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing that's... Wait, is he even taking damage? No, he's not taking damage. I am, though. Yeah, we'll have to figure it out, out on this run then. <laughs> if you're going to... Oh. <laughs> okay, I didn't think we'd actually knock them out there. Can I throw him back in early? <laughs> the power has a cool... Telekinesis has a cooldown, so I can't use it immediately after. His line is, is not my friend. So, there is something I missed. I can't understand the first word he's saying there. Uh, I want to be just water or... Yeah, it could be that it says water. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say water on me. What are we supposed to be doing here if melee attacks don't hurt him? I need the scream! Somehow it's so. Like, if you make a couple of feet here, it's not just poking in the wind, no. Yeah, it confuses me every time. Oh, hold on. I think I know what we can do. Or not. Oh! Oh, that also works! <laughs> Come on. Targeting radical. Okay, let me get some high ground then where he hopefully can't touch me. Now, what does this do? It opens its arms. That doesn't seem to be hurting him. Okay, don't get your ass stuck now. There we go, that's better. What does it What does it add to have them open their arms like that? The statues that is. When I do that they open their arms. Okay. Last one. And then we'll have to figure out what to do from there. Okay. 
Come on. No interest anymore. <laughs> okay. Where is that radical? There it is. And he ran into something again. Did you get yourself stuck underneath there? Oh, nope. Okay, now what does it do that have all of these have their arms open? Because I Oh. Yeah. Wait, is that Mobius? That's wow. the time si that's the signal symbol for time. That's Mobius. It looks like it. Oh wait. What did you say? Well, at in this point in the timeline, he would be dead. But that still doesn't. Oh wait. Now he is a time traveler, so he can be up to all sorts of shenanigans. But he did die once before, which was his supposed destined death. But why did we have to rebuild his statue? Do we have to break that on top of him or something? That's yeah, we can't hurt him. Do we have to maybe get him to run into the staff? Or into that mark? <sighs> oh, come on. Okay, they threw you a bit too far back. Yeah, since he keeps running around like a bull, there, it has to be something with him running into st the statue. Mm. Uh, well, since we're doing this again... Uh, yeah, I haven't been able to... Yeah, he says water is not my friend. Uh, I have not been able to find that note with games to let's play eventually. I remember a few that I had written down on that. Um, Giant Citizen Kabuto, Armed and Dangerous, uh, Bloodstained, Ritual of the Night, which I was planning on doing after this. Ooh. And... I'm not I don't think I had Prince of Persia noted down, but I I am willing to let's play it. Mm, I forget what other games I had on that list. It wasn't a very long list, so that was probably Ooh. like eighty to ninety percent already. Oh I think I remember one. And that is uh, 
Uh, no, but <laughs> I had not. <laughs> One day you may have you play a horror movie. No, not a horror movie. No, horror games. I mean, mm. yeah, here he comes. I, the relical and where you're looking are separate from each other, so that gets a bit annoying. Well. Uh, yeah, I'm guessing after we're done with this one, which might be, with a lot of luck, might be this stream, but it's probably the next one. Uh, after this, I'm thinking Bloodstained then, which will be a blind let's play, but I've heard nothing but good about it. Okay. Come on. I'm over here, you dumbass. He's acting like... Oh. He was acting as if I was hiding, but he's... There we go. Um. <clears throat> yeah, I'm guessing for now then... Um, blood after this, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night... And then I'll start working on the Prince of Persia series, similar to how I've been doing these, that I just... Uh, I do one game of that, then uh, something to fill in, to not have it only be Prince of Persia. Then the second game, then another in between, and then the another, and so forth. Yeah, that was great. That was great. That keep you from doing for one game. Yeah, it's not that the, the Prince of Persia games are bad or anything, and get back here, dumbass. It's that uh, too much of the same gameplay can get annoying. Yeah. Come on, are you going to come running at me or not? I'm right here, dumbass. <laughs> and he runs away again. Okay, at least that it gives us a moment to activate these things. And yeah, now the jailer's statue is doing an impression of the Rio Janeiro Jesus statue. Oh! I think it was there to realize that one. Uh, I don't think that's intentional, but it, it just looks so much like it that I could not make that joke. Could not not make that joke. Okay, this one. And have you finally figured out how to f see again, dumbass? Come on, this way. Come on. No, no mind us, <laughs> Not for some time yet, at least. Yeah. I think question how people thought the, the Oblivion game had good animation. Crazy how they how the feature animation uh, style worked. And when I viewed it, I was so over. <laughs> yeah, for the time it was good animation. Um, that time I felt like I'd seen better animation elsewhere. Was too uncanny valley. I'm sorry, I just feel like... Yeah, I didn't, I didn't play much of the video game, please do not start off by him. He's disturbing me too much. Oh, wait, are we supposed to get him to run into the gate? Uh, think it possible. Uh, let's give it a try at least. 
Yeah, I, I tried. I'm pretty sure I had him run into the stuff earlier there, but that did nothing. And that did nothing as well. Like, the hell am I supposed to do with this idiot? Or am I being... No, that doesn't seem to be interactable. What are we doing now? Does he have difficult... He seems to have difficulty seeing me when I'm in the dark. Okay, I... I don't get what I'm supposed to do. Let's see if we can run, get him to run into these things again. Over here, dumbass. Oh, that set him off. But that did nothing. Yeah, I... I don't get what I'm supposed to do here. I think I heard something there. Yeah, it sounded more like his face hitting the front wall at Mach 5. Like there. <laughs> uh, no, th that was the that was the boiler on his back hitting the ground. Okay, what are we missing? We repaired the statue, so that must do something. Hold on. I doubt that. But look at the fences is forming a stair. Like the what? The, yeah, the pedestal is forming a stair, but it was that doing. No, no, it no. was doing that already. No, no, the fences. If you look behind you, they go up higher and higher. You know, you see what I mean? Over there, yeah. But yeah. I see no way to get to that. Uh, can we even jump to that? Nope. So that's not it either. Mm. Mm. Okay, what really, what are we supposed to do here? At this point we're going to die from bloodthirst before we die from this guy. Here's the thing. If you need to put the heat up several times, put it at Oh, did that did something. Okay, they could go from. This is supposed to react. Uh what are we supposed to do then? Do we need do we just need him to keep running into this? Yeah! Because he also put the big him do that. Oh wait, without the saw, the knife fall over on him now. I think I'm possible. <laughs> Leafs. Sire, wait. What trickery is this? No trickery, sire. I am your servant once again, your champion. Pathetic wretch. I have no. Magnus? Could it be? It is I, sire. How is this possible? Here, in this cursed place, was my finest warrior. The Seraphim had fallen before him by the score. Together, he and I were invincible. Until... Magnus, the traitor. Is this your reward for betraying me to the Seraphim Lord? Sire, I did not... 
You left my camp in the night to join with my enemy, like all the others. Sire, no. I wanted only to serve you. I thought in my pride I would strike a blow that would end the war. I went to kill the Seraphim Lord, alone. I was your champion. You never returned. I failed you. I tried to kill him. Even now I cannot remember how he defeated me. I was struck down, helpless at his feet. And then, through his foul magic, he took my mind and transported me here to this hellhole. But what of you, sire? I heard that you were dead. I'm not so dead as some would like to have me. As you see, I have returned. Magnus, my champion, you have suffered long enough. It is with pride that I grant you your death. <clears throat> Sire, my thanks. Okay. <laughs> that was a bit iffy with the cutscene at the end. Yeah, but it looked a bit iffy with that. Yeah. Now stop holding. And I'd be damned if it was Magnus. Last time I said, I'd be down if the ne next character is called Magnus or something. <laughs> Go, my well, friend. It is Magnus. Be free, as the rest of us, living or dead, can never be. And I'm guessing this will be the oh, last level know. then. Uh, hello, Jarell. I sense a change in you. You found the Builder. You are perceptive. He gave me his blood as a gift. I gave in return the gift he most wanted. Death. You are ready to descend to the device. Time grows short. My life is drawn from me. The device is alive. You must destroy it. What can you tell me of the creature within? The slaves speak of it as the mass. It has great power, yet it is just an animal. The blood in your veins will kill it. <laughs> How do I reach the device? This passage will lead you there. I will return when the device is destroyed. Wait. You must know your true enemies. My captors, they are not of this world. They control the glyph magic by which Meridian is enslaved. They pull the strings of the Saravan while in the disguise of the glyph rites. They are called... The Hilden, and their leader is, of course, the Saraphan Lord. <sighs> they are powerful creatures, Cain. You will encounter them below. Beware their magic. <gasps> now, find the mass. <clears throat> Destroy the device. You may toast my victory at day's end. Until then. Okay, the glyph rites are Hilden. That I did not see coming, and I actually kind of forgot about them. I, I, I did say they looked a bit odd. Like, uh, uh, there was nothing odd that I would say with their eyes. Yeah, but I thought that meant they were vampires. Yeah. Well, I said they, they, maybe they are Hilden in disguise. And, uh, well, lo and behold. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't worried. Okay. Look what have we here? Has he seen us? 
it's looking straight at us. Or not anymore. Okay. I did not actually expect to be fighting uh, Hildren them or Hilden themselves. I have been been calling them the Hildren instead of the Hilden. I, I think we've been calling them with an extra R in their name. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's better than me actually calling them Hildians. <laughs> but yeah, I, I was not expecting to be fighting any of these in this realm. I, I had a feeling we might have ended up... We might have eventually ended up in the demon realm. But not like this. And that axe was pretty much useless. Hmm. Alright then. Okay, why can't I use this new power? Screw it. Why use fire when you just can, when you can just cut something to ribbons? Yeah, you're still under the Okay. Train you. Okay, that was a lot of a lot of blood. What the monster thing? This is new. And all, well, we've seen force fields before with the barriers, but that was more like an actual force field. I wonder why some of these are blue and some of them are red. I don't think I've actually seen a difference in how much experience they give. Or lore, as the game calls it. Which is still dumb, and... What the...? What the...? Hey? No. I was about to say, is that the thing moving? And it's not on you after that. No, but it moves. Why can I not use this power? It's, it gives the sound like it's not available. I... Okay. Does it only... Oh, hello. Oh, and uh, yeah, we can see underneath the dress. Not that there seems to be much to see. dead already. Okay. Oh. Yeah, the game is starting to show some of its flaws in its combat system. Because, well, what what use is a weapon if you need to block an enemy, all of an enemy's attacks, which are then only likely to just break the weapon before you can actually make any use of it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what we seen earlier. Besides, uh, targeting the game in the machinery. Yeah. Uh, I wonder okay, how to... how you're supposed to use emulate then, because it doesn't seem to have a targeting thing. Or does it need? Hmm. Yeah, I. I hope it isn't bugged or something, and that it's completely useless. Let's see, follow the wire. The wire says, that way, there's the cliff. Oh, 
Did we really say that? Uh, no, but yeah, when there's a when there's a wire to follow in a game, of course you're going to follow it sooner or later. Mm. I think this is the only game that I ever see it's on you to follow a wire. Let's see, that one leads back. Test one, two, three. Okay, there we go. Uh, headset ran out of battery, <laughs> so oh, I had to right. plug it in. Yeah, wrong button. Okay, the goat. How much experience do these actually give? Let's see. I actually didn't see it move at all there. The hell? <laughs> Let's see. Also, why are these things just tapping at the pillars? Yeah, I was in that earlier. I was asking, why are they moving? Let's see how the one for you. There we go. They look a bit like those uh, creatures from Half-Life. The ones you only encounter once uh, in some sort of high pit. If you've played... Uh, no, Drakir has played uh, Deep Rock Galactic, but... They are sort of like those stabbing vines in the Deep Rock, in Deep Rock Galactic, in the jungle biome. Okay. I see the moving vines, but not the stabbing vines. I'm still new to Deep Rock Galactic. Yeah, I can, I can up. I can promote my driller for the second time now, <laughs> which says how much I play with then. <laughs> oh, before I forget, the question you play, is it all right for me to just join in? Or do you choose to get my art first? Uh, you'll have to repeat that in a moment when I'm not running away from this thing. <laughs> Alright. Uh, okay, what was that? I said, do you prefer if I ask you before I join you on Epoch, or do you prefer just to join me if you need help? Yeah, you can just jump in whenever. Alright. I usually prefer to ask first, therefore, but you know how polite I am. Okay, I'll leave you and your runic later hosen alone. <laughs> I think I just called you a weirdo. Okay. Hold on. Uh, why is this guy in here? And uh, why are these? Experimenting on him. Then this guy seems to be rather nonplussed about that. Like the only thing I can think of with this thing is some sort of teleporter experiment. Or cloning. Well, that would explain a lot about the city's population. <laughs> uh, let's see, I was thinking of something, but I forgot what. Uh, it was... Yep. <laughs> what the heck? Wait! <laughs> Sorry, did that just jump scare both of us? Uh, I, I wasn't as startled as you, but yeah. 
now we'll get to see if this acts as any special killing animations. Uh oh. No, oh, come on. Uh, also, I just remembered another thing that was that was on the uh, two let's uh, two let's stream uh, or two stream list, uh, oh. the Dark Siders games. Oh yeah! Oh. I think I think that was the same animation as the Big Axe. Yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> it looks like they're humping the ground. Uh, yeah, I really don't think that, but that, that sounds to do that kind of blood drinking. They really didn't think they could up on pawn it as they should have. What's that? Oh. Was that some sort of shield over the door? Not sure why that's but oh hello. Okay, so not over the door. <coughs> I'm guessing we need to go up now and <coughs> charm that uh, one. Uh, ah, there's the button. Alright, so let's see what's on the to-do list again, since we are getting close to the end of this game, but oh, we are at two hours, so up to the next checkpoint then. Uh, let's see, Prince of Persia, Darksiders, Bloodstained, Rachel of the... That's the second time that thing got us. Bloodstained, yeah. Prince of Persia, Darksiders, Armed and Dangerous, Giants in the Kabuto. Uh, those last two are technically uh, related. They are con they considered spiritual. Well, Armed and Dangerous is considered a spiritual sequel to uh, Giants in the Kabuto. Uh, let, let me write it down before I forget again. And this time I have need to find a bigger note. Okay. Uh, yeah, this will be big enough. I guess so, uh, nothing important on that now where's my pen because I usually have a pen there it is black pen on a black desk <laughs> yeah you you can lose that easily okay yeah uh, I can relate I was lost one of my hair bands for an entire day on my black desk dark I found it in the end Prince of Purse, yeah. Wait, I think I, I found it by accidentally put my hand on it. <laughs> okay. Just put, wonder what the heck is it? Then the next day, I just put my hand on this and realized, what the heck is that on my under my hand? It's the hairband. Okay, so what what did I say? Dark Siders, Prince of Persia, Bloodstained, Giants, Armed and Dangerous. Was there another? Uh, Shadow Man? Um, wasn't really planned, but yeah, it'd be interesting to see how that remaster works. I, I've played parts of that game before, but I never played it from start to finish. Hmm. So yeah, let's add that in. Yeah, for it had it had good reviews and it looks interesting. Yeah, it's a voodoo-based game. It's actually based on a comic I think or from the 80s or 90s I'm not sure and also to read something many of the games we've been streaming not all of them but many of them have been rather dark themed yeah shadow <laughs> um... ninjas uh, vampires, rapes, and upcoming some more vampires, voodoo, um, uh, 
Yeah, that that is going to make the intro I made a bit unfitting compared to when the con rest of the content. Because yeah, I've been working on an intro video for the streams because I've noticed at times when I start, the recording seems to oh, start halfway through my introduction. So yeah, that should help. Uh, but yeah, I'll I won't use that on this game yet. I'll just I'll just introduce that when we get to the next game, which is most likely Bloodstained, to keep up the theme of vampires. <laughs> oh dear. Um, hey, you, have, you have to tell me about Bloodstained and after the stream a little bit. Yeah, it's it's basically a spiritual successor to the Castlevania series. Oh right, that one. Yeah. Uh. I think that's about it at the moment. I might see about starting up a Discord server for this. I doubt I have really enough people to have that be too active, but for anyone wanting, I'll I'll, <clears throat> I'll set one up eventually, put a link in the start screen or something. But for now, uh, let's first save before I forget that. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. As always, anyone who's been watching, now later on on YouTube, thank you for watching. And thank you especially, Tvatir. Oh, you're welcome. And yeah, next time, probably the finale of Blood Omen 2, which will make it the longest game that we've streamed, I think. I, I think the finest was longer. Uh, Most of the got stuck on one place. I don't think it was that. No way. We. I can't check because I can't. We weren't. We weren't saving the videos of that. But I don't think it was nine episodes long. I think it was ten. Uh, only time travelers can tell now, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Until next time. But until then. Until then. We'll see it and watch out for seagulls.